I'm Brian S. Mahoney of BrianSMahoneyOnline.com. What Biomedical Engineers Do Biomedical engineers analyze and design solutions to problems in biology and medicine with the goal of improving the quality and effectiveness of patient care. The work environment. Biomedical engineers work in manufacturing, universities, hospitals, research facilities of companies and educational and medical institutions and government regulatory agencies. They usually work full time. How to become a biomedical engineer. Biomedical engineers typically need a bachelor's degree in biomedical engineering from an accredited, an accredited program to enter the occupation. Alternatively, they can get a bachelor's degree in a different field of engineering and then either get a graduate degree in biomedical engineering or get on-the-job training in biomedical engineering. The pay. The median annual wage for biomedical engineers was $86,960 in May of 2012. The job outlook. Employment of biomedical engineers is projected to grow 27% from 2015 to 2022, much faster than the average for all occupations. Demand will be strong because of an aging population is likely to need more medical care and because of increased public awareness of biomedical engineering advances and their benefits. Application Resume Many jobs require job seekers to complete an application instead of submitting a resume. But an application is a resume in disguise. Its purpose is to show your qualifications. Assembling the following information about yourself in advance will make it easier to complete applications and resumes. Identification. Be prepared to give your name, address, phone number, and social security number. You may also need to bring proof of identification when you pick up and drop off the application. Employment history. List the month and year you started and ended each job, your supervisor's name, address, and phone number, your job title, location, salary, and major duties, and your reason for leaving. Education and certification. Know the name and city of the school you attended and the year you received your degree and the name, level, and award and renewal dates of certification. Special skills. List any special skills you have that are closely related to the job, such as computer applications or equipment operation. References. Provide the names, phone numbers, and addresses of three or four people who have agreed to recommend you. When you pick up an application, don't miss an opportunity to make a good first impression. Dress as you would for the job. Politely request two copies of the form or make your own copies of the original before you start filling it out. Read the entire application before you begin. Then use one copy as a rough draft and the other as the final product. Write neatly with black ink. Answer every question on the application. Write not applicable or none if a question does not apply to you. Some reviewers suggest answering will discuss in interview if asked for information that might disqualify you. Make a copy of your completed application. If you go back for an interview, take this record with you. Having a completed form will also make it easier to fill out the next one. 
Although forms do not offer the same flexibility as a resume, you can still find ways to highlight your best qualifications. For example, you can use strong action verbs to describe your duties. If you do not have paid experience, you can give job titles to your volunteer work or list relevant academic experience, substituting student for job titles. Computer Applications If you are filling out an application for a computer database, you will want to use keywords and simple formatting. Put the most important information first. Include as much information as you can for each question without becoming wordy or repetitive. The more relevant details you provide, the better your chances of using a keyword that matches an employer's requirements. Before submitting the form, copy and paste your answers into a word processing program so you can check the spelling. Thank you for watching. If you have a topic for a training video you would like created, then leave your choice in the comment section. Also, like or thumbs up this video. If you would like information on how to start your own business, which includes how to get government grants, how to write a business plan, how to select your business name, how to use free internet marketing to advertise your business, and much, much more, then visit BrianSMahoneyOnline.com. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when more than over 1,000 free training videos we will be creating are uploaded. Thanks again for watching and make it a great day.